We're back. So oh, today we've got a bigger tarp. We're back at the same place that we were in the last video. We're gonna dig a little bit more. It is later, it's around 3.30 right now. So sun's kind of going down, it's descending. We'd probably, i say we probably have two hours, maybe an hour and a half of light out yet. Uh, bigger tarp, before we had an eight by 10, now we have a 12 by 14, so big upgrade. Bringing the Pelagon with, of course, the amazing flashlight. I'm looking forward to today. I hope you guys are too. I mean, God, we gained 20 subscribers damn near from our last short of us coon hunting. So that's amazing. I mean, you guys are eating that up. It's kind of breezy out today. That sucks. I'll see you guys once I get out there. y'all can hear but it's pretty damn windy oh i didn't realize my phone is pretty low on battery all right we got to get this tarp up right away also when i got some more paracord this is 550 feet of it it's around eight dollars at uh fleet farm so We need right there. So right off the bat, we gotta find some sturdy ass sticks. Got the basic setup of it, so if it rains, the wood will be dry over there. One, probably like right around here. And with the wind going that way, I don't have to worry about uh, sparks catching inside or anything like that. With it getting dark and windy soon, I want to be able to go to bed somewhere without having to not be ready. I want to have a set bed. It's super fancy right now. our bench right here. Nope. It's got to be even. <laughs> fire there, bench there, sleeping quarter there. For fire starter, I'm grabbing this. It's all around. It's just the dried up grass. This stuff makes great fire starter. I mean, it'll catch a flame quick and burn fast. So you gotta be ready. Time to get our fire started. There we go. I'm not gonna lie to you, this fire took so damn long to start, it did not want to go. Even with cardboard, I couldn't get it started, but I just grabbed a shit ton of grass and scrunched it all up and finally got her started, so yippee ki -yay. I'm comfy. I mean, there's no wind, absolutely none coming in here, and I mean, that's a big old plus, but the fire's good, got my gun, got everything, got some paracord and stuff, I got popcorn to eat tonight, I got my water. I'm loving this. This is nice. Took a while to start the fire, but we got it. Pretty nice. I just went and I got some bigger logs. I mean, outside. Or I guess here. Look at this. So. 
over here you guys see a lot of trees were cut down and stuff from the burn or whatever they had going on so down over there there's a lot of dead logs bigger ones like these so i just took a couple of these i mean those will burn for god like an hour or so letting those dry out for tonight so i ain't got to worry about running out here and looking for wood we can try and uh raccoon hunt I mean, it's, it's around 30 right now, ish. It's not terrible out. We got this puppy all dug out and boarded up. Got our fire right here. Yeah, luxury life. Getting windier, man, what the hell? But it's also getting darker. I'm actually pretty warm. Inside here, there's probably a 20 degree difference than out there. It feels like 50 in here, it feels like 30 out there, so. You see my breath now. I gotta stock the fire, but I gotta piss, man. Tarp's gonna stay up. I'm gonna risk it here and leave the tarp up overnight and come back here tomorrow morning. But uh I really gotta get this recording thing figured out. I mean, I love doing this. I would not change it, and I'm not saying I want to. The only issue I've been having is my phone dies because it's cold out so i can't record or prove to you guys or put out videos with a dead ass phone because i what am i gonna record on a ds but i'm gonna leave the tarp up i'm risking it i think i'll be okay i mean i'm gonna come back tomorrow early morning gotta get this fire put out quick and scurry my ass out of here So, I just came across, somebody may have poached this deer. Hold on now. You can see him right there. Oh, buddy. Guess I'm grabbing my knife in case. You guys don't know around our state i believe there's a huge virus going around with deer and basically what they say is it's called zombie deer virus and it eats away at their brain and it makes them just go <clears throat> stupid what to do so you guys after looking at the deer i mean there's nothing i pulled it out i just i don't know and it's warm too which is weird legs are all intact it doesn't seem like it got hit i mean i could be oh wait a damn minute no no bullet holes or nothing there's no blood up by the nostrils <sighs> poor guy doesn't seem like it got hit by a car or anything. It just, it's just dead. There was no broken bones or anything on it that I could feel. The ribs were intact. Everything was fine. Neck was fine. So I'm not sure what happened, honestly. A lot of different things, but. So I'm a little bit happy that I left, you know. That dead deer is probably 30, 40 yards from my camp, so. Let the coyotes do their feasting tonight so they don't keep me up all night and worried. But, uh, pretty, pretty crazy, honestly. Um, and I don't want that. I don't want half-assed videos. I had one and I felt so stupid about it. Got some water, a charger for my phone, my jacket, my pellet gun. Today it's happening. Sleeping bag.
knife. There's my phone. Man, I lose stuff all the time. So annoying. It is so annoying. Man, I lose something, and then I gotta end up tearing everything apart to find it. Just for it to be in the stupidest place. It's around 44 degrees out right now, so it's pretty damn warm. Except I don't have room for my jacket and my backpack, so we're wearing it. So annoying. All the time. Nope. Isn't that insane that I just got really pissed off because I couldn't find my phone? When that's what I'm recording with? God! I hate that. It's gonna be one hell of a walk out there. Hooey! Heavy backpack. Big time. We're about to come across our, our dear friend. I don't see it yet. Something might have dragged it. Yeah, I'm not seeing it there at all. I don't know, it's there. It's there. Nothing ate it, which is weird. Really weird, because you know, dead animals and stuff, you see animals get hit by cars and crows will be on that thing like moss to a flame, coyotes will drag it out. Bears are coming out, it's springtime, they're fucking hungry. So, really weird not to see it. Ow. Good news is it's there, bad news is it's all falling over, but that's okay. I do have a lighter because it's windy. I'm not gonna use it because I still got my striker as well. But water, we got our phone charger and stuff that I showed you guys, my sleeping bag. I'm gonna leave that in there for now until I get the roof on this hoe. We are sleeping here tonight. I'm excited. I know I say it a bunch, but we are. I am more than prepared. I'm gonna get this fire started a little bit later once those chainsaws way back over that way go away, because I don't want them to walk over here and be like, oh, what you doing, blah, 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 this, that, this, that. But I was debating on digging this down more. That means all of this stuff that I spent a while putting in here would be just covered in dirt and I don't want to spend another hour getting more. We got the fire moved. Pretty rocks around it. We filled in that hole. Our bench is right there. Now that we have our tarp up, I put it up a lot better so it's fully down on each side. We got a big area and space over here where I'm going to be piling all of my dead shit. Obviously just in case it rains because I don't want to have to try and find logs. Campfire's all set up and everything like that. It's far enough away that sparks will not catch in here. Once again, I think there's like a 10, 15 degree difference. It's 42 out right now. It's dropping down, sun's going down. It's probably like 58 in here. It's really nice. Can fully sit up pretty much. A high time we get this fire started. Those are my first lines of defense, so if anything breaks in, you're gonna get stabbed. It's uh, it's around seven right now. I got a lot of these logs stacked up. 
big one, big one, big one, big one, big one. And these are all just ones that I found. So tonight is gonna be pretty damn nice. My phone's charging. Got my sleeping bag and everything set up. Time to make some popcorn. I'm having a great time, honestly. You know the scariest thing about this, I'd say? Or about being in the woods? I think it's the wind. Cause you don't know if it's the wind or if it's an animal or... Either way, this is awesome. <laughs> like I'm having a good time. I've been whittling down a spoon. It's not professional. So this thing that I made with a deer spinal cord <laughs> with its backbone went from being a weapon to my fire poker. No, see, we don't want that catching on fire yet. We got to get that bark off of there. I lost my spoon I was gonna eat my soup with, but it vanished, so. Fire's good, I got a chunky log on there. That one will fall once that one's like gone. So I'm gonna try and go into bed and get some sleep here and I will see you guys in the morning or a couple hours. Damn, so. I'm gonna be honest, like two minutes ago, I heard a mm, right next to the tent. And I was like, oh man, what is that? Well, good morning, y'all. Got my jacket on, it's kind of chilly. Woke up about 10 minutes ago, just put my jacket on, trying to warm up a little bit. I'm not gonna lie, last night was scary as hell. There was, there was a point where I was laying here trying to go to bed and all of a sudden there was just a, this is all I heard. I don't know what this is. Probably a raccoon or something. But it was a, hmm, hmm, hmm. Like, to my right over there. So, I was a bit freaked out. And I, I need to inherit in a rifle or a shotgun. It's like a single barrel shotgun. It's snowing out right now. It snowed some. I mean, oh. Can't wait to brush my teeth. Let's get ready here. I don't know if you guys know what that noise is. Like I said, like I'm imitating it pretty well. It was a mm, 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 noise like that. So after this one, it was not as even as I thought. The ground. I made this last night. I was gonna call it like a breakaway knife. But if something tried to, if I stabbed something like a bear attacked me and you know knife got stuck, I know this one, it's pretty damn sharp. And I'd try and stab it and then just break it off. Oh. I mean the wood did not burn as I thought it would, which I'm okay with that. But that fell in like I wanted it to. For my first lines of defense in case something came into the camp. Spikes. A bench. We're gonna get everything cleaned up here now.
forgot about the water. Actually. Bertha's taken down. Another one to add to the books. I will see you guys once we get out of here. Still nothing is eating that deer. Whether well, there's no animals around here. God, I don't even know. Maybe it just does have something wrong with it and the animals can sense it. So, we made it back. Oh, I'm pretty exhausted. I'm sorry these videos aren't coming out as consistent. I'm still trying to get at least two to three videos out a week. Sometimes it's too cold, sometimes I'm unprepared, but we made it. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, feel free to subscribe, leave a like, you know, comment if you want to see me do something, and uh, I'll see y'all in the next video.